India is undergoing a dramatic transformation in its defense posture, a shift that's reshaping its role on the global stage. This isn't just about modernizing equipment, it's a fundamental rethinking of how India safeguards its interests and contributes to regional stability. We're witnessing a strategic evolution driven by both internal innovation and external challenges. For decades, India has been known as a major arms importer, but that narrative is rapidly changing as it transitions to a global innovator and exporter of advanced military technology. This transformation is fueled by a commitment to self-reliance and a desire to play a more assertive role in the international arena. This is Defense 2.0 Dash, a bold leap into self-reliance, a strategic imperative to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers and bolster national security. It's about creating a robust domestic defense industry that can meet the evolving needs of the armed forces. It's a future where Indian minds and hands shape the nation's security, driving innovation and ensuring that the country remains at the forefront of defense technology. This involves nurturing a skilled workforce and fostering a culture of research and development. The era of legacy systems and foreign dependence is ending, a deliberate move away from outdated equipment and towards cutting-edge technology. India's new doctrine is built on indigenous capability, a foundation of self-sufficiency that strengthens its strategic autonomy. This approach prioritizes domestic production and technological innovation. This spans everything, from microchips to missiles, showcasing the breadth and depth of India's growing defense industrial base. It's a comprehensive effort to master the entire spectrum of defense technologies. The silent standoff in the Himalayas and persistent threats from state-sponsored terror have accelerated this drive for technological independence, underscoring the urgent need for a self-reliant defense ecosystem. These challenges have served as catalysts for innovation and strategic planning. India's answer is a proactive strategy. Deterrence through technological asymmetry, creating a strategic advantage by developing and deploying advanced technologies that outpace potential adversaries. This is about making any misadventure by adversaries prohibitively costly, ensuring that aggression is met with a response that far outweighs any perceived gains. The focus is on a military that's not just strong, but smart, a force that leverages technology to enhance its capabilities and effectiveness. This includes integrating AI, quantum computing, space assets, and unmanned systems. India aims to leapfrog generations of technology, bypassing incremental improvements and embracing disruptive innovations. This is about building a force ready for tomorrow's conflicts, equipped with the tools and strategies to meet the challenges of a rapidly evolving security landscape. This is a saga of national resolve and innovation, a testament to India's commitment to securing its future through technological prowess. It's a promise of a secure and powerful India for generations, a legacy of strength and self-reliance that will shape the nation's destiny. The story of Defense 2.0 is just beginning, a journey of continuous improvement and adaptation. It's a narrative with each breakthrough adding a new chapter, solidifying India's position as a leading force in the world of defense technology. At the heart of India's defense revolution, a transformation is underway, reshaping its military might and strategic capabilities. Central to this evolution is the rapid acquisition of 87 state-of-the-art unmanned aerial vehicles. This procurement signifies a major leap forward in India's defense modernization efforts. These are not just any drones. They are medium-altitude, long-endurance male UAVs designed for extended missions and comprehensive surveillance. These advanced drones, built by a consortium of top Indian defense firms, represent a significant boost to indigenous defense production. They are specifically designed for persistent surveillance, providing a constant eye in the sky over critical areas. These UAVs are also equipped for precision strikes across vast territories, enhancing India's ability to respond swiftly and effectively to threats. Capable of flying for over 30 hours at high altitudes, these male UAVs offer unparalleled endurance and operational range. They provide real-time intelligence, gathering crucial data and insights that inform strategic decision-making. This intelligence is critical for border security, enabling proactive threat detection and response, and is essential for success in modern warfare scenarios. Equipped for reconnaissance missions, precise target acquisition, and even deploying precision-guided munitions with pinpoint accuracy, these UAVs transform from passive observers to highly effective and lethal assets when the situation demands it. Their deployment significantly reduces risk to pilots, ensuring the safety of personnel in dangerous environments. This acquisition offers unparalleled operational flexibility, 
allowing for a wider range of mission profiles and strategic deployments. And it ensures round-the-clock vigilance, providing continuous monitoring and situational awareness. This surge in unmanned capability is a clear signal, a testament to India's commitment to modernizing its armed forces. India is strategically leveraging next-gen technology, embracing innovation to enhance its defense capabilities. This is all done to secure its interests, maintain a strategic advantage, and ultimately outpace potential adversaries in an ever-evolving global landscape. The acquisition of these 87 male UAVs marks a decisive step forward, solidifying India's journey toward technological dominance and establishing its position as a leader in advanced warfare systems. The induction of male UAVs is a tri-service game-changer, creating a networked surveillance and strike grid for the Army, Navy and Air Force. For the Army, these drones provide a God's-eye view, tracking enemy movements and guiding artillery with precision. The Navy gains exponential maritime domain awareness, patrolling vast ocean expanses and monitoring strategic choke points. The Air Force uses them for deep reconnaissance and real-time targeting, integrating seamlessly with fighter jets for rapid engagement. The true power lies in unified data sharing, breaking down barriers and creating a common operating picture for all commanders. This integrated approach is the essence of modern warfare and a pillar of India's rise as a military power. The push for advanced UAVs is a cornerstone of Atmanibar Bharat, building a self-reliant defense ecosystem. The male UAV program mandates domestic sourcing, catalyzing partnerships between DRDO and private giants like Adani and Tata. This collaboration accelerates innovation, turning Indian companies into key players in design and integration. The ripple effect is immense. A skilled workforce, robust R&D, and a resilient supply chain tailored to India's needs. Indigenous production secures supply lines, enables customization, and fosters a culture of innovation. DRDO's tech transfers empower hundreds of SMEs, embedding them in the national security supply chain. The Make in India logo on defense platforms is now a symbol of pride, sovereignty, and technological strength. While India's eyes turn skyward, DRDO is revolutionizing naval warfare with a high-speed supercavitating torpedo. Unlike conventional torpedoes, this weapon uses supercavitation, traveling inside a gas bubble to achieve hypersonic speeds, potentially over 200 knots. Mastering this technology requires advanced fluid dynamics and propulsion, placing India among an elite group of nations. Developed by DRDO's NSTL, this torpedo can close in on enemy submarines or warships in seconds, leaving little time for evasion. It's a homegrown breakthrough tailored to India's strategic needs and providing a decisive underwater advantage. The hypersonic torpedo is a silent, swift deterrent, forcing adversaries to rethink any challenge to India's maritime supremacy. This innovation signals India's deep technological ambitions beneath the waves. The future of naval warfare is being shaped in Indian labs. India's pursuit of super-cavitating torpedoes represents a significant leap forward in its naval capabilities. This advanced technology allows torpedoes to travel at incredibly high speeds underwater, creating a bubble of gas around the projectile to minimize drag. This capability places it among a select few global naval powers who possess this cutting-edge technology. The strategic implications are profound, offering a distinct advantage in underwater warfare. By developing its own supercavitating torpedoes, India aims not just to match existing global standards, but to establish itself as a leader in this critical area of naval technology. The goal is to surpass systems like Russia's Shkval, which has long been considered a benchmark in supercavitation technology. India's ambitions extend beyond mere replication, focusing on achieving superior speed, extended range, and enhanced lethality in its indigenous designs. This leap in performance is crucial for maintaining a competitive edge. This technological leap ensures India isn't left behind in the rapidly evolving landscape of underwater warfare, allowing it to project power and safeguard its maritime interests effectively. This is especially critical in the underwater arms race, where advancements in stealth and speed are constantly reshaping the balance of power. The development of supercavitating torpedoes is a direct response to countering the growing submarine fleets of its adversaries, ensuring India maintains a credible deterrent. A hypersonic torpedo fundamentally changes naval tactics. It dramatically reduces the time available for enemy vessels to react. This, in turn, significantly reducing submarine survivability in a potential engagement scenario. The speed of these weapons makes evasion extremely difficult. 
It also forces surface fleets to rethink their defensive strategies and invest in advanced countermeasures to protect against this new threat. Its presence creates a powerful deterrent bubble in the Indian Ocean, projecting India's naval strength and influence across this vital waterway. This makes hostile navies acutely vulnerable, requiring them to operate with greater caution and potentially altering their strategic calculations. This technology is central to India's Indo-Pacific strategy, bolstering its ability to safeguard its interests and contribute to regional stability, ultimately ensuring secure sea lanes and freedom of navigation, which are essential for global trade and economic prosperity. A strong, technologically advanced navy is the bedrock of regional security, providing a stable and reliable presence in a dynamic geopolitical environment. India's message is clear. It is committed to maintaining a modern and capable naval force. India is not just building more ships, but also investing heavily in advanced technologies, equipping them with the world's most advanced weaponry, ensuring they are prepared for any challenge. Naval dominance now means technological supremacy, and India is determined to be at the forefront of this new era. India's modernization drive goes far beyond UAVs and torpedoes. It's a multi-domain transformation. The Army is fielding the Zorawar light tank for high-altitude warfare, while the space program develops swarming satellite constellations for real-time intelligence. New indigenous ships and advanced propulsion systems are strengthening the Navy's reach across the Indo-Pacific. Every new platform is a step toward a leaner, more agile and technologically superior force. DRDO's transfer of over 2,000 technologies to industry is fueling a new generation of defense entrepreneurs. This synergy accelerates development, reduces costs, and ensures robust support for the armed forces. India is building a military machine ready for any challenge. India's defense modernization is a direct response to the dual threats from China and Pakistan. China's rapid military expansion and Pakistan's pursuit of next-gen fighters demand a qualitative edge. Indigenous platforms like Tejas and the future AMCA are crucial for securing India's skies. Public demand for modern equipment is driving political will to fast-track acquisitions and cut red tape. The debate is no longer about whether to modernize, but how fast. Defense 2.0 is about deterrence through strength, raising the cost of aggression to unacceptable levels. India seeks peace, but stands ready to defend its sovereignty and developmental aspirations. A credible, powerful military is the shield for India's future. India's defense future is anchored in self-reliance and relentless innovation. The focus is shifting from licensed production to original design. Fifth-gen fighters, AI-enabled systems, and autonomous fleets are on the horizon. Swarming drones, directed energy weapons, and a robust space program will define the next phase of transformation. Sustaining this momentum requires political will, funding, and streamlined processes. But the foundation is strong. The synergy between government, armed forces, DRDO, and industry is India's greatest asset. Defense modernization is more than hardware. It's about reclaiming technological destiny and global leadership. The surge in UAVs and hypersonic torpedoes are just the beginning. Defense 2.0 is a continuous journey toward a stronger, safer, and more powerful India.